Flavor City family, what is up? It is Bobby Desi holding the camera and my girl Rose coming at you from the kitchen for a epic Dollar Tree haul. I've been hearing what you guys have been saying. I've been reading the comments and you want a really budget focused haul and I get it, right? Layoffs the last three weeks were like, what, 16 million. Money is tough to come by right now. Um, I totally get it. So I went to Dollar Tree over on Addison and Sacramento on the north side of Chicago uh, yesterday. I didn't want to film there. I didn't want to do a haul there. I got in and out as quick as possible with my gloves and uh, sanitized everything as soon as I got home. And I picked up 30, what is this, 34? 32 items for $32. And the cool thing about Dollar Tree, in case you don't know, Everything there, Rose, is one dollar. Whereas if you go to Dollar General, Dollar Rama, those other ones, they can be more than a dollar. So I picked up some pretty cool stuff and I want to go through all of that. And look at this, babe. Have you ever seen a receipt like that? Huh. 32 items, $32. It's pretty trippy to shop somewhere and not see any uh, price tags, but I'm very excited to show you what I found. Before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those things are great, you guys, but the most important thing is a bell icon right below the video. You wanna enable all notifications on our channel and then go to your phone on your iOS or Android. Make sure you have notifications enabled from YouTube because we go live the last two weeks, about six or five nights a week doing quarantine kitchen. It's really fun. You do not want to miss out. All right, probably the most exciting thing I found at Dollar Tree was in the freezer section. You guys, wild salmon fillets. Look at the weight here. Four ounce portion for a dollar. Wild caught cod. See wild caught right there? Great for making uh, fish fry. Four ounce portion, or what is it? A uh, three and a half ounce portion for a dollar. Now, Here's the only thing I don't like. Come back in here for a second bit. From the, of course, I was going to find something, right? It was too good to be true. It's a wild-caught product of China. And the cod here is also wild-caught product of China. Now, let's just go back to the most important thing, the price, right? We're talking about four ounces. There's 16 ounces in a pound. This is $4 a pound for wild salmon. Routinely, I'll pay anywhere from $9.99 to $12.99 uh, at other places for wild salmon. So that's great because wild salmon does have the most nutrient dense um, nutritional profile of any other kind of salmon. If you're not going to eat wild salmon, you have to get really good farm raised salmon. We've talked about that before. They don't have that at Dollar Tree. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that it's processed in uh, China. I'm sorry, it's not even processed. It's a product of China. And China doesn't have the same fishing standards as, as we do, the same uh, health health codes is us. And a lot of times you'll see actually, if you go to like a Walmart, it'll say wild product of the USA processed in China. They ship their locally sourced wild uh, seafood to China because it's cheaper to process. I don't like that either. Um, so is it ideal? No. But is the price ideal? Yes. So we're talking $4 a pound for the salmon and about, what is that? Five, five fifty for the cod. Really, really good deals. So if you're gonna shop there in the frozen section, I would scoop that for sure. Right next to that was frozen berries. They weren't organic, but still a dollar for like a, oh, I think it was 12 or 14 ounces of blueberries it was a great deal. So that was really, really cool to see. Um, and then I got a bunch of snacks here, you guys. So I found roasted seaweed. Now, if you've seen our videos before, Art and I don't understand why seaweed is so popular. I mean, it's like a very, very healthy snack, but kids love it. Amen to that. Why? Because the nutritional profile of seafood is very, very good. So we look at the back here. First of all, zoom in right here on the bottom. It's very high in iodine, 30% of your daily value, vitamin B12, which is really good for you, and vitamin A. The only negative is, see the oil they cook it in? It's sunflower oil. But hey, that's better than soybean oil, right? And see right there where it says, California residents warning this might cause cancer. So this is so interesting, you guys. Prop 65 is a, in my opinion, a kind of a crazy prop law from California that says anything that may contain trace heavy metals has to have that warning on there saying it could cause cancer and reproductive harm. I see this on the protein powder I eat. I see this on my coconut sugar. I see this on coconut water. Listen, you're not gonna get cancer and reproductive issues from eating seaweed and stuff like that. You're gonna get it from eating uh, foods or tainted foods with heavy metals. So I wish they wouldn't do that because it deters a lot of people and I get lots of emails about that. Now, the sunflower oil is a highly processed oil. Ideally, you'd see coconut oil or um, extra virgin olive oil, but still, not terrible. I love the fact the nutritional profile is so good. 
I oftentimes tell people, and you probably have heard me say this a million times, don't use white table salt. Even though it has the um, enriched iodine, it's horrible bleach process salt that's bad for your health. Instead, get unrefined salt like Himalayan pink salt. So people always ask me, Bobby, where can I get iodine from? And I say diets rich in iodine like seafood. And I did not know this until now, seaweed, right? Very cool. It's pretty funny also how they put non-GMO on there. Of course it's non-GMO. No one's using Monsanto seeds to grow wild uh, seaweed in the ocean. So for a dollar, I'm so, if she's hitting my microphone, by the way, making a lot of noise, I'm sorry, guys. Um, for a dollar, that's an amazing deal because actually at Whole Foods, I've seen ones. The one with the shark, baby shark, do 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 I forgot the name of that brand. They do have one with sunflower oil too, and it's like three times the price. Probably the best nutrient-dense snack at Dollar Tree is this. Mm brown rice cakes with seven super seeds. So why is that important? Because instead of being white rice, it's brown, which has the fiber, hull, and the brand still attached to it. But my gosh, wow, wow, wee wow, right? Look at the ingredients. Are you kidding me? After brown rice, black imperial rice, also known as forbidden rice, ooh, scary rose, amaranth, buckwheat, hemp seeds, ch -ch -ch chia seeds, flax seeds. Are you kidding me? For a dollar, isn't that cool, Ben? This is awesome. I mean, and to be honest, it'd be nice if it was organic, but not that important. Wow. Most nutrient dense one at Dollar Tree for sure. Super happy to see that. Now there are a lot of snacks there, right? But you really have to read the ingredients. For example, I saw this on the end cap. It says it's a mini sesame and nut bar. Mm. And by, it has like one of those healthy looking fronts of package. Don't you think so, Ben? Yeah, very. Very, right? But we read the ingredients here. And it's a, just a few ingredients, right? The problem is they're using sugar and palm oil there. That's the problem. And how much added sugar? Five added sugars, grams, which is over a teaspoon per serving with palm oil. Palm oil is one of the worst oils for your health and for the environment. So that's a major no-no. Exactly. We say no to palm oil. But I did find some other good ones. Now, check this out, Ben. I love freeze-dried fruit. And for a dollar... I can get freeze-dried strawberries. Not organic, but I'm okay with that. Double check, you guys. Make sure there's no sugar added uh, right here because there are a couple ones at Dollar Tree that have sugar, so avoid that. This is just freeze-dried peaches. Make sure I grab the right one. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. And Fuji apples. Once again, it would be nice if all these were organic, but I'm okay with that. And for a dollar... I didn't see one organic thing, to be honest, but Dollar Tree is not about that, right? Great snack for the kitties while they're home right now. Great snack for mommy and daddy when they're watching the new season of Money Heist on Netflix. We love that show. It's so cheesy, but it's a cult following, I think. Um, so those are great snacks. Another great snack is a keto-approved snack right here. Chicharrones, or pork rinds. Now, I would always go for plain pork rinds. These are the skin of the pork deep fried in where's the oil? They don't say what kind of oil. When you see that, that actually means they fry it in pork fat or lard, right? So that's actually really good. You're frying the pork in its own fat. It's like bringing everything back home, right? This is what you want. Zero carbs. The problem is this isn't like pasture raised or humanely raised a pigs. Big deal. Never go for the flavored. This is salt and vinegar pork rinds. And this is actually kind of troubling because look at the ingredients. Like to get the salt, right? They put the sodium there. They put the citric acid, but maltodextrin is another word for kind of like MSG and it's a shelf stabilizing preservative. Palm oil and canola, all of a sudden, I don't know why that's in there, but palm and canola are in there. So you don't want that. They have the flaming ones. They have the barbecue ones. Stick with plain Jane. Ideal world, I'd get a I'd say a humanely raised, better quality one, like 4505, that big pack over at uh, Costco. But these are great, not only for snacking, but you can bash them up into breadcrumbs and make a, um, a keto breadcrumb out of them. Really, really cool. And then I have other snacks here too. Check it out. This was a dollar bib. The Terra chips. And what's great about these is that it's all root vegetables. And it's not the best oil, but it's not terrible. So ingredients... Expeller Press non-GMO canola and safflower. I'm okay with that. And for a dollar, mm, right? Like yeah, these we used to crush these back in the day, right, Ben? Mm -hmm. These unfortunately they don't make them with like uh, olive oil or avocado oil. Now, speaking of oils, I went to the cooking oil section 
and I found something that it literally made me laugh so hard. So this is a premium brand of extra, premium blend of extra virgin olive oil with the premium oil known as soybean oil. <laughs> Look at this. What makes this premium combining, first of all, the first ingredient is soybean oil, GMO soybean oil, with extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> the market, look, premium blend. It would be premium if it was extra virgin olive oil with ghee, with coconut oil, with, um, I don't know, anything but soybean oil, taking the cruddiest processed GMO oil and mixing it with the best oil. So I, I had to buy it, and for a dollar, I just thought you guys would get a kick out of that. But they do have a $1 a container of coconut oil. Now it's not virgin, it's refined coconut oil, but it's still good stuff. And the reason actually why refined can sometimes be better for people who don't love the flavor of coconuts rose is because virgin coconut oil has a strong coconut flavor, but refined because it's a little more re uh, refined or processed with heat, doesn't have as strong of a coconut oil flavor. The downside is it is a little more processed, but still for a dollar, that's a great deal. One of the better deals was in the uh, salad dressing aisle. You guys, they have raw apple cider vinegar with the mother. Mother, mother, where are you, mother? See, mother? Is she there? That's it. See, mother's always on the bottom. She's hanging out on the bottom, having a spot of tea. That mother down there is a probiotic mother. So not only is this good, but it's good for you because there's probiotic bacteria in here. This also, Rhodes, has a really complex flavor. You can use it for cooking vinaigrettes or just put a shot of this, shake it up. Put a shot of this in your morning uh, water or tea. It's really good for your gut. It's kind of like a, a cleanse, right, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, really good. So for a dollar. And we put it in uh, bone broth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We use um, a splash of that in our bone broth to extract the nutrients and the minerals from the actual bones. So that's really cool. Uh, what else? We talk about pantry staples for the quarantine. Look at this, babe. For a dollar, you can get wild sardines in water, right? Great deal. And then they have two kinds of tuna. I got them both, but chunk light in water is better than albacore. I just bought this to, t to talk about it. Albacore, we talked about this many times, is a big uh, tuna. Bigger tunas have higher mercury, so I wouldn't get that. But for a dollar, there's n nothing wrong. This is a great uh, quality tuna that would crush all day. Actually, how many times this week have we had tuna salad for lunch, babe? Three times. Three. Actually, today might have been the fourth I had. I made it that with my cauliflower thin buns, smashed avocado, and some cheddar cheese. It was delicious. Wow, Rose is being really good all of a sudden. Is she getting tired? She likes in there. Ah, oh, you're so sweet, Rose. Um, what else? Drinks. So the drink aisle had a couple interesting things. It had alkaline water and it had coconut water. Two of my favorite beverages. And guys, I was actually really impressed with the alkaline water. So this is uh, 9.5, I think, pH with multivitamin. Now, I normally get very, very scared when I see multivitamins because there might be cruddy flavors in there. But guys, look at this. It's purified water. And next are the alkalizing minerals. There's potassium bicarb, magnesium sulfate, and then there's actual multivitamins in there like right there, B6, B5, B1, vitamin C. There's no natural flavors. There's no cruddy ingredients. I've seen premium bottles of this at other stores for thrice the price uh, with lower quality ingredients. Now, they're probably synthetic low quality vitamins, but hey, it's still better than nothing. And I like alkaline water because I do like that, um, that pH balance to help uh, balance out uh, your stomach. I know a lot of people don't believe in that. Desi and I right here have a reverse osmosis. <laughs> I still can't get used to these baby locks. Reverse osmosis and alkalizing mineral uh, underwater system. We really believe in alkaline water. I know a lot of people don't, but uh, a lot of people ask me about this. I'll put the link down where I got it. It's from a small shop in Venice Beach, California. Um, there's a lot of ones on Amazon, but I don't know if you can trust them. It's something you really want to do a lot of research about. And then there's coconut water. Now, I like raw, unprocessed coconut water. I should say high pressure pasteurized instead of ultra high temperature. So this is high temperature pasteurized, so it kills a lot of the living nutrients. But be careful, you guys. What do you see as the main ingredient that's a bad one there, babe, in this coconut water? Take a look. Sugar. Sugar. Are you, and the sugar, it stay there? Oh, they, don't, they don't even tell you how much added. It just says 17 grams. Some of that is natural, but they don't tell you added. 
You don't have to put sugar in coconut water. It has a natural sweetness. When you do that, it becomes a diabetes nectar of the gods. Why, why would you do that? Stay away from that. This is not true coconut water, right? So I would stick with this alkaline uh, vitamin water. That's really cool. Okay, let me see what else I got here. Yes, thank you, Desi. Coffee Mate seasonings, and then I got a bunch of $1 cooking tools. And I, I looked at the wall and I said, I'm gonna pick four or so cooking tools that I think everyone should have um, that are really a great deal for a dollar. Now, uh, this is Coffee Mate. You know, I'm gonna save this. For, I actually got this for the coffee video we're gonna film after this. This is something you don't wanna uh, really drink and I'll save it for the next video. Um, but this is funny. This is French fry seasoning here. <laughs> and I don't even know what that means, but I turned it around here. And the ingredients here, the one that stuck out to me was monosodium glutamate. That is basically MSG. And the reason why they put it in there is because it makes your taste buds excited and it makes your brain fire off and get addicted to that flavor. Um, we've talked about it in other videos, but listen, man-made MSG, or naturally occurring MSG, I should say, from tomatoes, mushrooms, soy sauce, and Parmesan is good and good for you. Man-made monosodium glutamate is horrible for you. It tricks your brain and your taste buds into craving more things and makes your brain waves misfire. Do not ever eat MSG and don't let anyone tell you that man-made is good for you. Um, and then another treat that I saw there, and I see this at a lot of places, people see sugar-free chocolate candy, they get excited. I want you to run for us, run from this one because, let's see if you can see the ingredients. Okay, the main sweetener is maltitol. Then I see palm oil. And then I see natural and artificial flavors, but keep reading. There's maltitol second time and maltitol thrice. That much maltitol, you're gonna poop your pants like Rose. To be honest, 100%, okay? Actually, Rose is not even pooping her pants anymore. She's going to the potty. We put her on a potty last weekend for the first time. She went number one immediately. And almost every time she goes now, she's going number one or number two. She's like a prodigy. It's unbelievable, Rose. So um, you might, want to go near a potty if you have that much maltitol, this is terrible for you. You're much better off getting, uh, it, to be honest, in that, in that case, you're better off having the real sugar. Um, but there's better, more expensive options. But for the dollar store, stay away from that. And then I saw a lot of banana chips there. And I got excited because this is basically um, a paleo snack. But the problem is every single one of them had... Well, see, I saw coconut oil. I'm like, wow, they're cooking coconut. Amazing. It has added sugar, but then banana natural flavoring. It's like, Aww. why do you need that? This is banana. If you can't rely on the natural flavor of nanners, you need to add natural flavor. And there's added sugars of five, which is over a teaspoon of white sugar, aka El Diablo. So stay away from that. I mean, let's quickly talk about cooking tools. So look at this bit. For a dollar, you can get a seven inch knife a wooden spoon, and I really like using wood, not uh, metal when I cook, um, tongs that are lockable, and a non-scraping, uh, non-stick uh, silicone spatula, Fantastic. right? And this, this is an oven mitt. This is really good because it's heat proof and you won't burn your hand when you use like a towel. One, two, three, four, five dollars for really good kitchen gear. Listen, you can get more there, but oh, it might be Amazon, but I would stick with those because that's the most important ones you're gonna use, especially a good seven inch knife. So I'm gonna buzz in the Amazon guy. That's it for Dollar Tree. If you have more budget related hauls or recipes, please leave a comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe, share. That's the only way our channel grows. But Rose, who's due for a nap right now, and Desi and I will see you soon. Until then, we say into you like we always do, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Let's buzz in that Amazon guy.